Let's talk about vitamin B5, pantothenic acid, your adrenals, and the quality of your sleep. The first thing you need to know is that vitamin B5 is essential for the production or synthesis of acetylcholine, which is good for your focus and memory. It's also essential for making the cortisol hormone. This is the stress hormone. It's also essential for making epinephrine, that's adrenaline, another adrenal hormone, serotonin, and melatonin. So as you can see, it's very important in creating the stress hormones as well as the hormones involving sleep, as well as the hormones involving your mood. B5 can directly support the cell that controls the circadian rhythms. Okay, That's the central clock in your brain that helps you keep your circadian waves in check. And this clock is called a suprachiasmatic nucleus. So B5 is necessary to support that clock. And by the way, you not only have this central clock in your brain, you have other clocks in virtually every single cell in your body. They're called peripheral clocks, and they're all linked up with your major clock in your brain. And so this way, when you're asleep, you have the rest of the body also asleep, so you're not having things like restless leg syndrome as you're trying to sleep or other conditions. And so if you're low or deficient in vitamin B5, these are the symptoms that you can experience. Number one, irritability. Number two, fatigue. Atrophy. Numbness in the hands and the feet. Muscle cramps, especially at night. Restlessness, okay, that's going to affect your sleep, as well as sleep disturbances in general. And so when you take vitamin B5, it actually helps to regulate cortisol. Well, let's take a look at um, how cortisol is produced. You have the hypothalamus, okay, in your brain, that's like the master gland, and then you have the middle man, which is the pituitary, okay? A lot of times people call the pituitary the master gland, but really it's the middle man, the via, between the master gland and the actual gland that it's going to. And so we have the hypothalamus, pituitary, and the adrenals, okay? So we have various hormone communications throughout this pathway. And so the whole goal is that the environment, like stress, for example, activate um, certain hormones in your brain through your receptors that signal down through the pituitary and the adrenal uh, to release its hormones to adapt the body to stress. Now, if you're trying to sleep at night and you're trying to adapt the body to stress, you're not going to sleep. And so when cortisol is produced, it sends also a signal back up to the pituitary and the hypothalamus, letting those two glands know that that function was carried out. And so this negative feedback turns off the pituitary and the hypothalamus so that hormone doesn't have to keep being generated, okay? Now the important thing to note is that vitamin B5 makes the hormone from the pituitary called ACTH more sensitive. Now what does that mean, more sensitive? What that means, it just makes that hormone work better and more complete. So when the cortisol is produced and, it's, and it comes back around to turn off this uh, pituitary, it's able to turn it off. And so vitamin B5 helps this communication pathway to help regulate cortisol. And also B5 is needed to make cortisol, which then allows cortisol to come around and turn off the switch as well. So when you think about B5, think about a vitamin that helps to regulate the amount of cortisol you need. So it's not too high and not too low. When you're trying to sleep on top of high cortisol, you're not going to be able to sleep, okay? Especially the second half of the sleep where you have the REM, which is the superficial type sleep. You're just not going to get a quality of sleep. You're going to get up usually around 2, 2.30, 3 o'clock. And so you can take pantothenic acid as a supplement, but there's another version uh, of pantothenic acid that uh, might be more powerful. And this is called pantothene, which is kind of like the active form of B5. So pantothenic acid has to convert into this active form called pantothene. And so some people have uh, a problem with vitamin B5 because they can't make this conversion. And for those people, they definitely need the pantothene version of this vitamin. And so if you have adrenal problems or sleep problems, you may want to add between 500 and 1,000 milligrams of vitamin B5 to help you with lowering your cortisol so you can get a better sleep. 
Now, if you haven't seen my recent video on sleep, I want you to check that out too because there are several other factors that you want to combine in improving the quality of your sleep. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.